We have live team coverage tonight from areas dealing with some of the worst of this haze, but we begin this afternoon with Chief Meteorologist Lee Goldberg. Lee. Yeah, David and Lauren, I know this is very unnerving to look up and see that orange sky right now, and some of you are probably a little happier that it's a little brighter out, but that doesn't mean the conditions have necessarily improved. In fact, we're at the height of toxicity in terms of how smoky and how unhealthy it is, historically unhealthy. So smoke-filled skies here. We're in the mid-60s, which, by the way, without this smoke, we'd be in the 70s today. Visibilities in some places are actually below a mile. The thickest smoke is now just to the south of New York City and also over parts of eastern Long Island. And this number is just head spinning. It's over 400, that air quality index, which now we're getting very familiar with. And you're going down to the scale here, which just plain hazardous. You're talking about we want you to stay indoors, not even limited exposure. It's unhealthy to be outside. In terms of the overall tri-state area, we range from this very healthy to hazardous area for most of the tri-state area. And you can see the plume of smoke. The one little encouraging piece is a little thinning over northern New Jersey, which is trying to get into parts of Manhattan and the Bronx and Queens with the thickest going south of I-78. We'll see if that trend continues. The future cast would suggest we're still really in the thick of it in the evening hours, and then it starts to thin a little bit, minor improvement into the day tomorrow, more so on Friday. So still an air quality alert for unhealthy air tomorrow that'll continue. So the brunt of this wave of smoke will last into the evening hours. It is not safe to be outdoors for an extended period of time or really at all. And all unhealthy air will last through tomorrow. Some relief on Friday. Just back to our regular weather. Traditional satellites and clouds to the north will be in the 70s and 60s this evening. Coming up in Aki weather. We'll tag team again. Meteorologist Jeff Smith will join me and we'll tackle all the air quality issues. The shower chances that come up over the next couple days. Will that help the quality and the weekend weather, which is looking better? Your seven day with the forecast in just a few minutes. David Lauren. Thank you, Lee. And you just heard, Lee, the quality of the air is now in the hazardous category for all of New York City. The particles in the air are so small, they, they get past your natural filtering defense system and cause breathing problems for some. Yeah, a level over 50 represents good air quality, while a level over 300 represents hazardous air quality. New York City, as Lee mentioned, hit 402 within the last hour. That is well above the 168 that was recorded in Dubai, the city with the second worst air air quality today. Just remarkable. 